After a series of deadly tornadoes ripped through central Oklahoma last May, President Obama signed a disaster declaration clearing the way for up to $257 million in federal aid. About half of that money has been spent. The Oklahoma Tornado Project has teamed up with Oklahoma Watch to track where the money has gone. I spoke with Kate Carlton Greer, reporter for the Oklahoma Tornado Project, about what they found. Kate, how much aid was available for the people in Moore? Well, statewide, the state contributed about $10.5 million, and then federally $257 million came into the state. And what was it to be used for? It went to basically everything. Cities could use it to repair streets that were damaged during debris removal, or they could rebuild buildings or deal with flooding issues. Individuals could use it towards housing assistance or even hospital bills, any unmet needs. And then there were also things like storm shelter rebate programs that were offered. You said there was individual assistance available. Yes. Yes, there was individual assistance, and actually over 15,000 Oklahomans applied for that. Has the aid gotten to where it was intended? You know, people have different answers for that. Largely, I would say that it has. When you look back at Hurricane Sandy or Hurricane Katrina, there was a lot of fraud and a lot of questioning as to if it got to where it really needed to be. So far, there's a trend in Oklahoma that it has. How quickly is the recovery happening? It's a slow process, for sure. I think we have another five or six years ahead of us, but to get back on our feet, we're doing pretty well. Moore says that they should be back to a semi-normal state in the next year or two. Why so slow? Is that to be expected? Yes, it's pretty standard. Actually, there's a 2007 ice storm that the state had, and we're still working through that. And so it's just a long process because with FEMA, there are a lot of steps to go through in order to get funding. The city of Moore in particular has been down this road before. Did that help them this time around because they do have some experience? I would think that it definitely has helped them. Officials in both Moore and Oklahoma City have said that they have this working relationship with FEMA and it's allowed them to kind of get a better idea of where they're headed and what the end goal is and how to get there. Has the fact that there were children involved that died changed the sense of urgency at all or at least the the expressions of sympathy and, and sentiment toward Oklahoma? You know, I think that's a tough issue. The deaths of the kids in Plaza Towers Elementary was, set, was certainly not an easy situation. However, I don't think it impacted the fact that FEMA got funds there any quicker or any slower than they would have otherwise. Some requests have been denied. Many have. Many have. Actually, almost three quarters of the individuals that requested assistance didn't get it. Why not? Well, it goes to a lot of things. FEMA funds are not meant to duplicate aid from other sources. So if your house was covered by insurance, you won't be covered by FEMA. It's been over a year since the storm. You say it's going to last about another five years before Oklahoma finally wraps up this one? That's what they're hoping. You know, it could be a few years earlier. It could be a few years later. But in general, this source of a disaster tends to last five or six years. And a new Plaza Towers Elementary School is being built. Should be open in August. With safe rooms this With time. With safe rooms, yes. And that's been a big issue. It certainly has. It's been a hot topic across the state and they're hoping to have it on the ballot in November. We'll see if that happens. But there are certainly safe rooms in Plaza Towers and Briarwood Elementary Schools. Kate Carlton Greer from the Oklahoma Tornado Project. Thank you. Thank you.